This is the original video from 2014, summer. Here we would zoom up to this area here, and this looks like a dinosaur-like head. Here we zoom into this area here, and this is the cliff dwelling complex. On top, we can see that this is about 115 to 125 foot high dinosaur-like animal here, seen here, that is being worshipped. Now we zoom down here at the bottom, we take a look at this, and it looks very constructed, very ancient, very old. And here we zoom up to the top and show the height of it and that it is uh, constructed into the cliff face here at about 4,000 meters up on Greater Mount Ararat. We couldn't include the video sound because it's uh, completely just obliterated by the noise of wind. Now here we zoom into a different part of it and show more of the larger part of this very large dinosaur-like head. We can see the mouth and the protrusion to, to the right top corner and here we begin to see the eyes and we see just how large this is. Next we're going to do a little explanation about the video we just saw. On the far left we can see the original video marked A. B is what's applied, it's called bulky. It's a camera option that you have that can block out the background and show what is there and outline it to make it uh, protrude forward to the front of the picture as if 3D. Here B is where bulky has been applied. These are the carvings on air at 115 to 125 feet high. However, the one in the bottom right corner is the actual carving of the dinosaur-like animal in the possible remains of Noah's Ark today and it's only about maybe 25 to 30 feet high at the very most. And that is where the arrow is pointing to right now. And we take a look at that and so when we compare them in size the carvings on the cliff faces are a lot larger than the one inside Ararat shows that these animals inside the ark remains were worshipped by Noah's descendants.